Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Some kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. We said it inside Ladies the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, First this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Van Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 254 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Mr. Tenacious. And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. to the body. What a punch. It's the elbow there. Right hand on point. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on bro. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing it. Exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Good stick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Big punch from the clinch. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Nice punch, man. Just misses with the straight left hand. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 
Swing and a miss by Lee. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Left hand punch to the clinch. Liver kick. Just misses with that one. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. If your opponent has an end to clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Just misses with a left hook there. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but maybe to the surprise of his opponent, he has come out so aggressive here tonight, he has landed a ton of strikes here early and gotten off to a nice start. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Nice defense there, huge block. And he landed the right hand there. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just a slip there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Clinch position. Beautiful elbow over the top. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Oh, nice jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Right punch is there. Five minutes in the books. Now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Watch knees to the body. Effective punch there by Lee. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Can't take many of those. You better check. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with his leg kick. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. Even if the feet aren't moving, you've got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big punch lands over the top. How's it going, Carlos? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Oh, beautiful job to lead with the right hand there, DC. The right hand is the money shot, and he will continue to throw it. Slips the punch. Lee 
His attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Lands with a right hand. Beautiful strike. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds an option. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Got clip with the right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Straight right hand, no good. Plus right hand is true. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Just misses there with the left. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. That was stuck in. Nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. There's no give on that leg kick. And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. This guy, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Over and over, he's landing in big body shots. His misses are out. He's got it here. Back to the feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Punch by 
the uppercut flails and misses. Swing and a big miss by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He missed with that jab attempt. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Well, you gotta think he's all bad. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots in the top. Gets up again here, but hurt. Oh, he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. There continue to be openings there. He targeted it effectively earlier in the fight, and the defense hasn't prevented him from doing so. If it's not broken, no need to fix. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.